Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com with another Android app review. This is going to be a new series called Eric's Top 5, which is going to be just highlighting 5 apps that I really like and am using a lot on my phone right now, at any given point in time that I decide to do one of these reviews. So Eric's Top 5 for today, this is edition 1, the first edition, and we're going to start out with Widgetsoid. Widgetsoid is a really awesome app, it allows you to put a uh, notification toggle bar inside your notification on your phone but you can have one bar, you can have two bars, you can have multiple bars you can not just have toggles but you can launch apps, you can launch tasker uh, task um, pretty much anything you'd want to do on your phone uh, you can do it from this bar a very customizable, way more customizable than any built-in notification uh, bar or toggle on your phone. So very useful app and with the Pro version you also get a swipe up pad um, or it could be swipe sideways but you can set a swipe zone so that regardless of what app you're inside of you can swipe, do that gesture that you set up and it'll open up a quick launch pad to quickly launch into something else. So really really cool app Widgetsoid definitely something I use all the time. Number two is Pushbullet. Pushbullet is a relatively new app. It's been around for about, uh, uh, I want to say six, seven, maybe eight months, maybe a year by now, but I don't think so. But it's, it's grown fast because it uh, does something that no other app does. It allows you to push from one device to another pretty much anything. Anything you can share anywhere in Android, you can push through push bullet. You can do photos, you can do links, you can do uh, just messages uh, to yourself, uh, pretty much anything you want to do uh, you can do through push bullet. You can send and you can send it from your phone to your tablet, from your tablet to your phone, from your tablet to your Chrome uh, uh, browser on your computer or your laptop, anywhere. And you can also push to other people who have push bullet, but I mainly use it just for myself. You can send yourself a message to remind yourself to do something when you get to your computer um, or you can send a file uh, rather than having to like upload it to Dropbox and download it uh, on your phone. You can just push it with Push Bullet. It's a really, really great uh, uh, app, even notifications. You can set it up so that when you get a notification on your phone, it immediately just automatically goes to your computer. So great for that as well. The only way they can make this app better is if every time you open it, it played Push It by Salt and Pepper in the background. And now that I said that, probably every time you, will, you open it, you will hear that in your head in the background. So there you go. Um, the next app that I want to talk to you about is Tweetcaster. Um, for me, Tweetcaster is the best uh, Twitter client for Android. Um, I've been using it a long time. Uh, Use the free version for a while, eventually upgraded to the pro version. It's just a really great app for uh, reading your Twitter feed, posting tweets, uh, finding people, um, any, anything you'd want to do in Twitter, you can do a Tweetcaster. And it's very simple, great user interface, allows you to have multiple accounts. So if you have a business account and a personal account, you can have them both on there uh, integrated. And uh, it's just very customizable with a great UI. So Tweetcaster is uh, app number three for today that I'm recommending. Number four is Multicon Widget. This is one of the oldest apps that I started using when I first got my first Android phone. I found this app and uh, it's free, it's simple, uh, just allows you to put more than one uh, uh, app icon on your home screen in the same area that you would normally only be able to put one. Now you can put two. Uh, and do sort of checkered board style, which is what I do, or you can do three or four, um, or you can just do one but make it bigger than it would normally be with no label uh, below it. So it's very customizable, a lot of different things you can do. Um, it's the, in the top five for today, it's the widget that I'm recommending, uh, Multicon widget, definitely worth checking out, seeing if you think you could benefit from having it on your home screen. And number five, the final app I'm going to talk about today is Fios Mobile. Um, if you have Fios TV, and of course if you don't, then this one's going to be pretty useless for you. But if you have Fios TV, which is by far the best cable anything out there, then the Fios app is a must-have. Uh, when they first came out with it, it wasn't that great, but in the last 
I'd say three to four or five months, they've really upped the game. The remote control on the Fios app works great now. Um, it really does look almost exactly like the remote that you would normally use to control your TV. Um, it works the same way. Uh, they've, they, they've changed that a lot and it works great. Besides that, with this app, you can also, if you're away from home, you, but you, maybe you forgot to record something, or you see a commercial and you're away from home, you're like, oh, I wanna record that. You can go right into this app, set it up to record really easily. Um, it just, it's a great app, it works really well. The Fios mobile app, so if you have Fios TV, you owe it to yourself to put the Fios mobile app on your phone and check it out, you will love it. Anyway, that is it for today's top five apps. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. Like I said, if you want to know more about any specific one of those apps, just uh, I'll have links below or links in the video. You can jump over and watch the detailed review to find out everything that that app can do. Um, all these apps should be available on Google Play for you, so you can hop over there and find them over there. Put them on your phone and uh, try them out for yourself. Anyway, that's it. Check out my channel. Check out all my Android app reviews, tasks or tutorials product reviews, dog product reviews, that's all there. And subscribe or just favorite a playlist if you want to keep up with a specific playlist. And that is about it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.